Hey guys, uh, today we're going to do a little bit of an experiment with uh, Flex Seal as a mold box. And this is just a 3D printed box um, with two coats of Flex Seal in it. And it's got a bit of an interesting texture to it, uh, sort of like a truck bed, but not as dramatic, of course. So we'll see how that kind of looks when the, uh, if it comes out of the resin, if the resin comes out of the mold and uh, what it looks like. And then also here I have uh, the same 3D printed box with two coats of Flex Seal and then two coats of uh, SRC uh, silicone, platinum silicone. Uh, one of the problems with this is on the sidewalls, it still feels tacky uh, after two coats. I'm assuming that's because it's so such a thin layer on the sides. Um, but we'll give it a try anyway and see what happens. Um, I know for a fact that you can't use just PLA. Uh, I've tried that a couple times. And uh, putting silicone directly on the PLA, for some reason the air gets through and it creates bubbles underneath the uh, silicone between the silicone and the PLA. I, I don't know what the deal is there, but uh, I'm assuming the flex seal will create sort of a air barrier um, underneath the silicone to make sure that no air gets underneath. And then also I'm going to use um, some universal mold release. Uh, and I have about 200 grams of uh, Art and Glow resin which I'll uh, spray the mold release, I'll put half in each, and I'll kind of set it off to the side. I won't worry too much about bubbles, this is more or less just a proof of concept to see if it works. So I'm going to take these out of frame to kind of spray them, but you can kind of hear it's not a lot. Just a light spray. Making sure I get all the sides. Okay. Um, I'll hit these with the butane torch if I can, just a little bit. Oh, let me see. Can I with the. This stuff is flammable, so I don't. I don't think it would be a good idea to hit it with the uh, torch. So anyway, we'll put these off to the side, and uh, we'll give them till tomorrow and see what happens. Okay, so here it is the next day, and uh, not too much uh, bubbles or anything like that. But uh, we're gonna see if we can demold this from the flex seal. Okay, you can see what's happening here. Uh, the PLA being so thin, it just wasn't strong enough to really kind of release it too well. But let's see if we can get it out of here anyway. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, it's kind of separating a little bit in some areas, but I think the flex seal didn't, uh, even with the mold release, isn't releasing it enough to get it out of here. So, let's take a look at the other one. It's just about out. Okay, here is the uh, one with the silicone seal, and okay, the video cut off, but uh, what I was saying is that as far as the silicone one uh, with the flex seal and then the silicone on top of it, uh, the only points where it struggled to come out was the corners are sort of rigid. So they didn't have a lot of give in letting it loose. Uh, the sides 
are still tacky with that silicone. And as you can see, it kind of marred up the sides a little bit um, coming out. Um, I would say that this is reusable, but I also think that you'd have a better luck if you were to do something like this with the uh, white silicone. Um, I don't know what it's called. Probably Elastomar silicone or something like that. I'll look it up. But uh, that tends to stick to walls a little bit thicker. So if you did two coats of that, it'd probably be a lot thicker than this uh, Platinum RTV uh, silicone. But um, the paint come out pretty good. You can see that there is some bubbles, but that's I, I didn't put it in a pressure pot. I didn't treat for bubbles. I didn't do anything. Um, but the bubbles are really tiny so I'm not even sure if they're gonna show up on the camera Let me see if I do that and uh, it wasn't perfectly level but it came out well enough um, so that's pretty interesting this uh, I think this is feasible for kind of a reusable mold box um, even with this silicone uh, as far as this one goes, uh, I probably could get this out. As you can see, it does separate with a lot of force from the uh, flex seal. But at the end of the day, if we have to destroy the mold to get it out, it's really not worth much to us anyway. Um, and also, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but on the edges... There definitely seems to be some discoloration or oil or something. It looks like an oil spill. You know, like the you get like kind of the rainbow type colors that show up in an oil spill. Uh, it almost seems like the resin uh, may have leached some chemicals from the flex seal. Um, that's my take anyway, but who knows. Uh, this one is definitely worth exploring more with a different kind of uh, silicone. But that's about it for this video, guys. Uh, we'll probably revisit this with a different type of silicone uh, when, I, when I'm able to get some. Because um, I think that could be good uh, if you can create any size box and then kind of maybe coat it with uh, Flex Seal and then coat it with a different kind of silicone. Um, that would probably be an easy way to create a fairly rigid box or a fairly rigid mold with very little silicone. Um, but anyway, if you want to support my channel, please like the video and uh, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it and have a good one.